Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lepakshi Kurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 17th of February. India's Apex Court clears permanent commission command roles for women officers in Army. Toxic gas leak kills six in Pakistan's port city, Karachi. A Nepalese rescued from coronavirus hit China sent to quarantine facility. Now for all the details, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday said that India would take a leading role in promoting green economy while inaugurating a UN summit on conservation of migratory species of wild animals in western Gujarat province. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday inaugurated the 13th Conference of Parties of the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals in Gandhinagar City in western Gujarat province via video conferencing. Addressing the event, Prime Minister Modi said that India would take a leading role in promoting green economy, including conservation of mountain ecology with people's participation. He also highlighted various initiatives taken by his government for the conservation of Asiatic lions, one-horned rhinos and Asian elephants and to increase forest cover in the country. I am happy to share that India would be taking a leadership role in promoting green economy including conservation of mountain ecology with people's participation. Of the, environmental the UN summit will bring together 1,200 delegates from over 110 countries to deliberate on the alarming decline of migratory species. Topics such as the impact of infrastructure development on the migratory patterns of animals will be discussed in the conference, which will conclude on February 22nd. In a historic judgment, India's Apex Court has ordered the centre to ensure that women officers are given permanent commission in the army. The court said there will not be any absolute bar on command postings and all terms of appointments of women officers shall be same as their male counterparts. The Supreme Court of India on Monday ordered the centre to ensure that women officers are given permanent commission in the army while adding that the officers will now be eligible for command posting. The top court said that permanent commission will apply to all women officers in the army in service, irrespective of the years of service. The Apex Court directed the centre to grant permanent commission within three months to all women officers in the army who opt for it. It said that all terms of appointments of women officers shall be same as their male counterparts. Women officers welcome the move, calling it historic. It's a great feeling. I mean, uh, it's a proud moment and it's a historical moment, as I already mentioned. Uh, we were looking for this for this day. It's a fantastic decision by the court and uh, government's uh, political will has been implemented, which in 2018, Prime Minister Modi uh, said that we need to give it to the lady officers. And for uh, some vague reason, they were not granting it. And, and uh, now the court has implemented the top court said despite there being no stay on the 2010 Delhi High Court verdict allowing grant of permanent commission to women officers, the centre showed scan regard in implementing the directive in past one decade. In news from Pakistan, at least six people were killed and 50 were hospitalised after a suspected poisonous gas spread overnight in a neighbourhood near Pakistan's southern port city of Karachi, rescue officials said on Monday. Panic and fear gripped Kemari town where people complained of a gas spreading and started wearing face masks for protection. The cause of the incident was not immediately known. People who faced breathing problems were brought to the hospital. According to reports, the poisonous gas had leaked from one of the ships at the seaport in which some chemicals had been stored to preserve vegetables. Oh. 
अभी हवा पर तकरीबन साढ़े नौ के करीब इतना है कि गैस फैलने से जो कुछ लोग बेहोश हुए हैं तकरीबन करीब पचास के करीब लोगों को हम बेहोश हो यहाँ लाए हैं और छः के करीब डेड बॉडीज यहाँ आई हैं और अभी तक हम यहाँ मौजूद Mutahida Qawmi Movement founder Altaf Hussain has said the reports of UN designated terrorist Masood Azhar having gone missing from Pakistan's custody has raised many questions on its state policy towards banned outfits. Altaf Hussain, the founder of Mutahida Qawmi Movement or MQM has said the reports of UN designated terrorist Masood Azhar having gone missing from so-called custody of the Pakistani army has raised many questions on its state policy towards banned outfits Hussain in a tweet noted that the reports of Jaish e Mohammed or JEM terror outfit chief Masood Azhar and his family having gone missing has come ahead of the beginning of the key plenary session of the Financial Action Task Force or FATF in Paris This comes as key plenary session of the Paris based Global Terror Financing Watchdog FATF began this week FATF will evaluate whether Pakistan has taken sufficient steps and implemented its plan of action to fight terror financing or not. The plenary will decide whether Pakistan stays in or out of the grey list. FATF had asked Pakistan to follow a course of corrective actions by October 2019 or face the risk of being placed on the blacklist. Meanwhile, New Delhi on its part will most likely push for Pakistan to take action against Masood Azhar. seen as a key conspirator in the December 2001 terrorist attack on India's parliament Moving on Sindhi leader Shafi Barfat has urged the UN chief Antonio Guterres to condemn Pakistan for violating human rights in Sindh Pakistan administered Kashmir and Balochistan during his visit to the country He highlighted atrocities by the Pakistan state and its army against ethnic and religious minorities in the country Sindhi leader Shafi Burfat who lives in exile in Germany has urged UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres to condemn Pakistan for violating human rights in Sindh Pakistan administered Kashmir and Balochistan Burfat highlighted atrocities by the Pakistani state and its army against ethnic and religious minorities and blamed it for sponsoring terrorism while demanding the UN chief to declare the country as an unnatural state सिंधी कौम जो 5000 साल पुरानी तारीख रखती है हमारे कौमी वजूद को तहस नहस कर दिया है पाकिस्तान ने बलोच कौम के वजूद को पश्तून कौम के वजूद को सरायकी कौम के वजूद को और पीओ के जो पाकिस्तान के कब्जे वाला कश्मीर है वहां पर भी इंसानी हकूक की संगीन खिलाफ वर्जियां हो रही हैं मैं समझता हूं कि आलमी बरदरी को यू सेक्रेटरी जनरल को और जितने आलमी इदारे हैं उनको ये जहन नशीन करना चाहिए कि पाकिस्तान एक बदमाश रियासत है मेंबर्स ऑफ सिंधी पश्तून एंड बलोच माइनॉरिटीज हैव लॉन्ग रेज कंसर्न्स ओवर पाकिस्तान इल ट्रीटमेंट एंड दैट दे आर नॉट अलाउड टू डिमांड इवन देयर बेसिक राइट्स दे एक्यूज दे हैव बीन टारगेट्स ऑफ मिलिट्री ऑपरेशन एथनिक स्टीरियो टाइपिंग एंड एबडक्शन बाय द पाकिस्तानी स्टेट एंड इट्स सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेज फॉर द पास सेवरल ईयर्स US Special Envoy Zalmay Khalilzad has stressed that success in the Afghan peace process cannot be guaranteed but all should do their best in achieving peace. Khalilzad made the remarks after meeting representatives from several countries including Afghan President Ashraf Ghani during the Munich Security Conference 2020. The United States Special Envoy Zalmay Khalilzad, while giving updates on further steps for Afghan peace, has stressed that success cannot be guaranteed, but all should do their best. Khalilzad, in a series of tweets on Sunday, informed he met representatives from different countries, including Afghan President Ashraf Ghani, during Munich Security Conference 2020, and discussed next steps in the Afghan peace process. The US special envoy after the meetings also urged all Afghans to seize the moment and end the misery of more than 4 decades of war in Afghanistan. This came as US Defense Secretary Mark Esper last week announced that US President Donald Trump's administration and the Taliban had negotiated a 7-day reduction in violence proposal in Afghanistan. Esper said the deal was conditions based and warned there would be a continuous evaluation process. 
Around 175 Nepali nationals who were evacuated from coronavirus hit China on February 15th have been sent to a quarantine facility in Nepal's Bhaktapur district for further examinations. A Nepal Airlines plane was sent to evacuate the Nepali citizens stranded in Hubei province of China, the epicenter of the deadly coronavirus outbreak. Around 175 Nepali nationals evacuated from China's Hubei province. The epicenter of coronavirus have been sent to a quarantine facility set up in Nepal's Bhaktapur district. The evacuees arrived in capital Kathmandu on Sunday on a chartered flight of Nepal Airlines. The Nepal government has made provisions for psychological counselling for those inside the quarantine facility in Bhaktapur and has issued a notice requesting all to abide by the rules and regulations during the stay. I am in Nepal Rico Society about Zeni, you coronavirus, some money, John Chetanako, Persa for Sarko, like Kosari Zeni, I mean Bosno Sokso, Kosari Zeni, who pay or Sokin Savan, you are a man, John Chetagali. Locals had earlier opposed the Nepal government's plan to set up the quarantine facility near residential areas in Bhaktapur. Reportedly, some nearby residents have now temporarily left for the cities owing to fears of getting infected. The flu-like coronavirus first originated in the Chinese city of Wuhan and has since then killed more than 1,600 people in the country alone. As concerns are growing worldwide about plastic pollution, scores of volunteers came together to pick plastic waste off the roads and create awareness about pollution among people in India's southern Chennai city on Sunday. As many as 300 volunteers came together in India's southern Chennai city on Sunday to pick plastic waste off the roads and create awareness about pollution among people. The 75-kilometer Walk for Plastic event saw students among others walk through the city on five different routes, picking trash and collecting it for recycling. The accumulated plastic was to be deposited to the authorities and the money made from it to be used for the education of rag pickers. When we collect, when we bend down and collect the plastic, people will see, okay. So though that's the, that particular plastic or particular rubbish is not ours, but this planet is ours, right? Concerns are growing worldwide about plastic pollution, especially in oceans, where nearly 50% of single-use plastic products end up killing marine life and entering the human food chain, studies have shown. Adrenaline junkies from across India gathered at Hill Resort Town of Narkanda in northern Himachal Pradesh province and participated in a three-day skiing competition that concluded on Sunday. The event was organized to promote skiing in India and winter tourism in Himachal Pradesh. A three-day skiing competition held at Hill Resort Narkanda in India's northern Himachal Pradesh province over the past weekend attracted scores of enthusiasts. The event was organized by a local sports club to promote skiing in India and winter tourism in Himachal Pradesh. The competition witnessed the participation of over 100 skiers and several tourists from different regions of the country who came to see the matches and enjoy the weather. Snow skiing competition कराया गया है आज तीसरा दिन है और यहाँ पर रोडू उत्तराखंड कुफरी नारकंडा की टीम्स हैं बहुत से कंपटीटर्स आए हैं और ये भविष्य के लिए बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है यहाँ पे मैंने सुना था कि हिमालय का बहुत अच्छे स्पोर्ट्स क्लब है और स्किंग का कंपटीशन होता है तो उसको देखने के लिए मैं यहाँ ऊपर चढ़ के आई हूँ और यहाँ पे हमने स्नो बोट वगैरह की काफी एंजॉय किया नारकंडा इज अ पॉपुलर विंटर स्पोर्ट्स डेस्टिनेशन अमंग टॉरेस अक्रॉस इंडिया Skiing started in the Hill Resort in 1980 and ever since, training camps and competitions are organized regularly. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us at Facebook.com slash Newsline and follow us on Twitter at Newsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.